but not a home Was a picture Satan painted For sweet little sister and me Our daddy would frown While mother was praying His heart was so burdened That he would not believe God, oh Satan held his hand down the path of sin he When God called our mother one night With a voice sweet and low Her last words were spoken Asking our daddy to raise her children right The angels rejoice Tears in his eyes While mother 
Chapter 14, when the disciples on the ship in the midst of the sea, being tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And on the fourth watch of the night, Jesus came unto them walking on the sea. But when they saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. But straightway Jesus spake unto them and said, Be of good cheer, it is I. 
be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me to come unto thee on the waters. And the Lord said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the waters to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sing, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. Now you know Peter was doing fine as long as he had his eyes on Jesus. But when he looked out into those rushing waves around him, I imagine that old Satan began to start talking to him and said, Peter, who do you think you are? Do you really think that you're walking on those waters? That's when old Peter started doubting. And then when he started to sink, Jesus stretched forth his hands and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, we're born, dead us thy doubt. Being taught through this world of trials and temptations, we are very much the same as old Peter. If we want to keep our eyes on Jesus, then we must walk for him and not the pleasures of this world. Keep your eyes on Jesus when the tide waves of trouble around you roll. This hour, are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed, are you washed in the blood, in the, blood, in the soul cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless? Are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you walking daily by the Savior's side? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Do you rest each moment in the crucified? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood, in the soul-cleansing blood of the Lamb? Are your garments spotless, are they white as snow? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? There'll be no 
Texas somewhere around the turn of the century at a little one-room frame schoolhouse that had been torn by strife and trouble so bad that they just couldn't keep a teacher to teach the boys and girls by reason of this they had grown larger and older and 
more harder to handle and the teacher just couldn't seem to control them in fact the last one left in tears the young folks had grown so terrible that he just couldn't seem to cope with it and handle them at all and for a few weeks they went without a teacher and finally after running an ad in the paper a young man appeared there and told them I'd like to apply for the job they explained the situation to him and after they'd explained he still told them I'd like to have the job and see what I can do with it on his first day in school as he met the class and they looked him over and began to laugh at him and to mock him and to poke fun at him and tell him we'll get rid of you soon but he looked back at them and he told them I want to make a bargain with you one I believe will help you and I can't take care of you and I can't look after you but I'm going to let you govern yourself I'm going to let you set the rules make the rules according to the punishment that you want to give and we're going to let you be the judge we're going to let you administer the punishment there was one boy in this group especially who had gone larger than the rest and none of the teachers was able to reach or to handle constantly he caused them trouble and he spoke up in the time they were making the rules and he said teacher it's been so here at the schoolhouse that that theft and stealing has been rampant and of course this young man was at the head of it but laughingly he said to him I'd like to make a rule that whoever is found stealing will have 15 lashes laid on his bare back without a shirt and the teacher said all right and the rules were made and some others included finally a few days went by and this young man who had asked for these rules stepped up in the class and said teacher somebody stole my lunch it's gone I can't find it they began to inquire around the room and they began to ask have you seen anybody take anything that they shouldn't have and finally a little boy stepped up to them very frail in appearance dressed very shabbily and he said teacher I took his lunch and I ate it and he said to him then Johnny why did you take the boys lunch why did you steal it and he said well teacher as you know my mom is dead my dad is not able to work he can't look after us like he should I didn't have any breakfast this morning in fact I had no supper last night and as he stood there with with tears in his eyes the teacher said Johnny I'm sorry but you'll have to pay the price you'll have to take the punishment or our whole system will break down and we're getting along so well he said all right teacher I'll take the whipping but the teacher said to him Johnny you'll have to take off your coat and as they looked at him he had a coat wrapped around him that was too large pinned together the collar with a large catch pin and the sleeves rolled up and very ragged and the teacher said Johnny take it off and he said teacher don't make me take off my coat I'll take my whipping but please don't make me take off my coat and as he stood there the teacher said Johnny you must I wish you didn't but you must and they pulled his coat off and to the astonishment of all of them he didn't have on his shirt and as he stood there with his back bare, and the teacher said Johnny I hate to do this worse than anything I've ever done why don't you have a shirt and he said teacher as I told you mama's dead and my dad is not able to work and look after some I didn't have a shirt this morning to wear to school so they pinned this old coat on me and I wanted to come to school so bad and they sent me anyway and the teacher said nevertheless Johnny I'll have to whip you I'll have to lay these 15 lashes on your back and as he raised the switch he had in his hand to lay the lashes on his back the rod to the surprise of everyone the boy who had been so unruly and made this rule stepped up with tears in his eyes and said teacher don't don't hit him and he stepped out down the aisle and said here and began to take off his own coat and to pull off his shirt and said teacher I'll take his place here with me for him thank God for that love of God and for you and for I Jesus took our place by the grace of God he took the whipping 
that belong to you and I. God bless you.